I've been getting a few questions on exactly how to set up your project for the class. Some people are doing multiple projects, but I want to show you the way that I've set it up. When we last looked at what I was doing in Optana, we saw that I had project one done. Since then, I've been working a bit, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up a new project. And each of these was set up the same way. Then I'm going to go back to index to add my new project once I've created it. So I'm going to right click and choose New Folder. And I'm going to name my new folder Project 8. And that gives me a new empty folder. In each folder, you'll see that I have at least one index file. The reason that we're doing each project in a separate folder is that as we become more and more advanced, we may have images, We'll have an, our index page. We will get to the point where we have multiple pages, and we will have images and cascading style sheets. So each project should have its own folder, no spaces in the names, and everything being lowercase. To add my file, I'll choose New File, and I will choose I will name it index.html. I'm going to make sure that's going in my Project 8 folder, and I'm going to hit Finish. Then I can double click on it. Got a few things open here so I can close some of the other ones I'm working on. And I can just begin. So I'm not going to go all the way through, but we're just going to put up a sample title for this Project 8 file, and we're going to add some other things to it. So first, I have gone out and edited several images that I want in my file folder. And so I'm going to copy each one of these just by dragging it into my folder. There's obviously multiple ways to copy and paste. I'm kind of a fan of just finding my folder that I had. I went through and I edited these to be the size that I wanted, and so I have them all ready to go. And I have them saved in a four web folder. So I can close that. And now I've got everything right here the way I want it. I have my index page. Um, if I were going to do a cascading style sheet, I would create that as well. And I'd call it PROG8.CSS. And then I could get started. So, of course, in here, oops, that's my CSS page. I'm going to be on my index page. So, in here, I'm going to type in my doc type. HTML. I'm going to make it an HTML page. And I'm going to put in my title. Project 8, a table-based site. And that actually belongs in the head. And then I will keep going from here. Now, I obviously am going to put a few more things in there. I linked my CSS sheet. Um, I want to put in my body. A few blank lines. And I'll just put in a title here. I'll make get H1. And that's pretty much it. So I can save this and test it. Okay, I'm obviously going to do a lot more to this before you actually see it, but I do want you to see one other thing. Once I have images in here, if I want to add my images, It will actually bring up everything in the same folder. So I can put in field.png, and I should put in my height and width, but I don't remember. Now I might have to actually go check on what they are. Um, that's really everything you have to have, minimal. 
there's obviously more to it than that, but I think it's really boring to watch me code and knowing somebody's watching, even online, makes me more likely to have typos. So I always have to save it before I test it. And there we go, my image is in here. And now I would want to take this whole one and now this has been a little buggy for me and finding synchronize has been working better. Now I did not create project eight out on my C panel yet. So this is probably gonna bomb on me. I'm having problems with Windows 8 Noptana's upload. Oh look, it did work for Aura this time. Let's synchronize because these already exist, so I shouldn't have to do anything there. This has been a little buggy. This, everything up until project date should actually exist on both places. I may have to go through the cPanel way of doing this. Okay, so let's see if this actually worked. When I choose to transfer files, I should be able to see everything online and everything there. Project 8 did not transfer. Let's try it that way. And this is something that is just a bug in Windows 8. I'm going to hit cancel here, and I'm going to show you another way to do this. Now, my alternate way of doing this is to go through cPanel. And in cPanel, you can actually just pull this stuff up from your computer. This is not my preferred way to do this. Typically, in the past, it's just been buggy with Windows 8. Optana has been great. Right now, my prefer preference is to use Dreamweaver. And I'd require it for the class because it is better. I don't want to make everybody spend $300. And Optana is doing everything else perfectly. So I'm going to go into the web root. Make, make sure you're not in the FTP root. That is a really common problem. So I'm in public HTML and we go to web 105. And then I can upload from here. And so I can go find my file. Which is going to be in my documents. Not that one. Okay, so here I have project eight. So I actually think what I'm gonna to need to do, you see, it's not gonna let me upload the whole folder, I don't think. Nope, so what I need to do here is back to file manager, close that, need to create my file folder first. So I'm going to do a new folder. And then in the file folder, now I can go upload. And 
use them one at a time, hit open. You know, it's, it goes really fast. Unfortunately, you are going to have to do it one at a time by clicking on each one and pulling them. is really pretty easy. Okay, now if I look here, I can close this. And in File Manager, if I want to see if it's here, I have to hit Refresh. Let's move back out, 105, Project 8, and it's all here. And I can go back to my Web 105 folder. it should be project 8. Now you'll notice that I actually have an index page going for the whole site. Let's take a quick look at how I'm updating that. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back to my major index HTML. And I put a little bit of CSS in here. And so for each new one, I'm putting this in as a bulleted list. I'll put in another list item. This is something else I like about Optana. Well, let me just go in and select my file here. It helps to avoid typos. My slash, often referred to as WAC, index.html. And all looks good. I need my closing tag. And then we project eight table-based site. Now the thing is, once these actually exist, typically the upload works perfectly if it's something that already exists. I don't know why Optown is funny about that, but updating one that already exists, and it will prove me wrong. That makes me angry. And that time it worked. Okay, so now I can go back out here. Again, it doesn't show up until you hit refresh. There we go. And it takes me to my page. So obviously this isn't my whole page for the table-based site, but that should show you the process that I'm going through in creating them. Not every single line of code that I would put in, creating them and putting them online. And then to hand them in, I would copy here and I would go to my reply in Canvas. And I would Control-V, say something about it. I love to code. This is just practice. Post my reply, and I have handed in my project. So hopefully that's helping anybody who has any questions on the process they should be using while creating their pages.